Dear brothers and sisters, the parable of the lost sheep is Jesus' revelation of the personality of God to you and to me. He tells us about God who is loving, who is caring, who is attentive, who is compassionate, and who is meticulous. God knows each and every one of us personally and individually. He knows our struggles. He knows our challenges. He knows our personal dynamics. He knows everything about us. You know why? Because He created us. There were hundred sheep, right? And when one got missing, the shepherd was able to know. Why? Because the shepherd knew them personally. So don't worry too much because God knows your name. He knows your struggles. He knows all the personal, sincere efforts that you are making to become a better person. God knows about all those. He knows about them. This parable reveals to us the fact that each and every one of us is precious to God. You are precious to God. I am precious to God. And remember that your sins, my sins, do not define God's love for us. Because the love of God for us is independent of our righteousness or of our sinfulness. Whether we are saints or sinners, the love of God is eternal, the love of God is immutable, the love of God is unchangeable. Sins actually make us absent in the presence of God. Fourth point for reflection is that God does not give up on anyone. He will always keep on searching for you. He will always keep on searching until he finds you. So God perseveres in his love. He does not give up on anyone. And that is one thing we should learn, not to give up on the people that we love. If you really love someone, you should not give up on that person. Because love remains. Love is faithful. Love does not give up. Now look at the attitude of the shepherd. When eventually the shepherd found the sheep, he did not scold the sheep. He did not beat up the sheep. Rather, the Bible said he took the sheep and put on his shoulder and he was joyful. That is the attitude of God. There's no sin that we will ever commit that will be greater than the mercy and the love of God. So do not focus on your sin. Rather, focus on the grace of repentance, the grace of change, the grace of transformation that the Good Shepherd has given to each and every one of us. There are two things we should remember. The first one is the reason why Jesus gave this parable. He gave this parable because of the Pharisees and the scribes who were believing that sinners are irredeemable. They believe that the best fate for sinners is destruction. Jesus gave this parable because the Pharisees and the scribes took offense at him for associating with sinners. Now, as we celebrate the sacred heart of Jesus today, we are invited really to make space for other people, to welcome other people to accept other people, especially those who are unique from us. So above all, this parable invites us to embrace repentance. Those things in our heart that make us to discriminate against other people, we are invited to break away from them and to allow love to be the center of our hearts. God bless you.